G'day, welcome to the 10th video in the series of Jim Caronis' 100 videos. And this of course being the 10th uh, interval in his series. You'll notice that we have two polynomials, uh, the one on top this time being of higher order than the one below, which means naturally that we would uh, divide them to start with. There is a fairly easy way of achieving this. Let me show you. I notice that if I multiply this by x, I would get x cubed. And if I multiply this by x, I would get x. So I'm actually going to write x cubed plus x and minus x. So by having the plus x minus x, I'm not really changing the numerator at all. But if you notice this part, if I take x out as a common factor, I'll get x squared plus 1, which will work beautifully. So what we're going to get is this. The integral, uh, I will do it in two steps, just in case you're not sure. The thing is, I don't know what sort of mathematics you have. There's a wide audience out there. And this will be minus the integral of x on x squared plus 1 dx. So all I've done is I've separated that and that. And what do we get? This is the integral of x outside of x squared plus 1 dx. This is the integral of this with the x here. Now, this one's ready to go because these two factors divide out. I don't like the word cancel. They divide out uh, accurately. We should leave ones. So this is the integral of x dx. Well, let's... I'm switching colours here. Integral of x dx. And what's going to happen here is that now this is the derivative, or almost the derivative of this one. The derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x, so we will write the 2 in there and compensate with a half out the front. And what we're left with, of course, is negative 1 half. And this now is a perfect uh, logarithmic function because the numerator is the exact derivative of the denominator, so we have the logarithm of x squared plus 1 plus c. Now, <clears throat> actually I didn't uh, integrate this one. So let's... Oh look, I'll write the logarithm over 2. You could in fact write a half out the front, should we? Let's do that. So a half outside of x squared minus log x squared plus 1 plus c. More properly, since we've used parentheses here, we should use brackets around this expression. Uh, by the way, now that we've performed that integral, this, this c is different from that one. Uh, I'll call that c0 and c1, just to distinguish them. But there you go. I did not use absolute value signs here because x squared plus 1 uh, is always positive, so it's never an issue whether we're trying to take the logarithm of a negative number or not. And that is it. I'll get over this side. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you found it profitable and perhaps even learned something, uh, even if it just confirmed what you've already done in integrating this function yourself. Please click the like button and leave a comment if you wish to. And uh, I would appreciate your subscribing to find out about the videos and the rest of this series. And I thank you for watching.